tell you about the Decolonizing the Mind Masterclass and three takeaways from that course that really inspired me. The first one is the difference between true or false and right or wrong. And the difference is the question of ethics. So uh, when we talk about conversations um, that often happen in, you know, discussing racism, um, uh, people who say offensive things often refer to, uh, you know, the idea of freedom of speech or freedom of expression, uh, which is a matter of true or false. We have a democracy and we have freedom of speech. True. Um, and if it weren't true, then uh, we would be censored and not be able to say what we want to say. But we are able what we want to say. We are free to say what we feel and think. And so it is okay to express, you know, offensive uh, ideas. And um, a decolonial view actually takes into account the ethics question and approaches the conversation in terms of uh, right or wrong. Is it morally right to say what you want to say if it offends someone? Um, and if it offends someone, then um, is there another way to engage in a conversation where you know you don't hurt someone because why would you want to do that so uh true or false uh and right or wrong are two different approaches the second one is to have a long view of history sometimes we get impatient but we have to realize that the system of institutional racism was built uh over 400 years so it makes sense that it would take another uh, hundreds of years to undo that and to dismantle that system so we might not even live to see it but it is important to uh, contribute to that process because every step that we take is actually a step towards um, liberation um, and if we don't recognize that those small steps are part of the bigger picture you know the first step of a, a journey of a thousand miles then we lose sight of what we're fighting for. And then the third one was um, that common sense is a valid source of knowledge. We often think that um, sources of valid knowledge are sources with authority. So, you know, universities or um, research institutions or media or museums. And um, in a decolonial uh, approach, we would use our common sense to come up with ideas and therefore you don't have to be, you know, highly educated. It doesn't matter who you are, where you're from. If it's based on common sense, then um, it would be of value. So these are the concepts that we discussed during a Decolonizing the Mind Masterclass. So this week it was just me and you, but I hope you enjoyed the video. And um, I thank you again for watching and I will see you next week.